Hello there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK and entering into your homes. Welcome and I hope you like my channel. If it's the first time you're passing through, please like and subscribe. Um, it's not very often I get privy to immigration updates, but I do try to bring them out as soon as I get hold of them. So that is why it's good to subscribe because you never know when something is going to come up. And um, for those who have already subscribed, thank you. Um, much appreciated. Um, so today, um, this is about, you know, UK or British nationals living in Spain, what they need to do um, post-Brexit, 31st of October. And um, yes, we might say, is Brexit going to happen? If it's not going to happen, it doesn't really matter. Being prepared is half of the battle. So I hope I'm going to prepare you with what I'm going to read to you right now about what I found out today. Um, it's a new legislation for UK nationals living in Spain. Um, work and resident permit procedures post-Brexit. And it's written by Aggie Salt of the UK Employment Hub. Um, and 10th of August, so it's recent. Sorry about my eyes dipping down. I was looking, making sure it was recording. Um, new, regula new regulations have been enacted in Spain, setting out what UK citizens working or living in Spain after Brexit will be required to do to maintain their right to live and work there. The regulations apply to UK and Northern Irish citizens living in Spain before the exit date. I put the 31st of October, but... You know, you never know with this government what's happening. But anyway, before the exit date, whenever that is. Affected individuals must apply for a special work and resident permit within 21 months of Brexit, which I don't really understand how that can be unless you already know about it, because this came out just a couple of days ago. 21 months, it means you would have had to have um, apply for it already if we do um, exit on the 31st of October which is only a couple of months away so I don't know what's going to happen there um, during this 21 month transition period UK nationals will broadly maintain the same rights they currently have under EU law except for example the right to vote and stand in elections to the European Parliament Denton's law lawyers in Spain have put together a summary of key points of the regulations which are summarised below and the key practical points in the regulation. So I'm going to read them out to you. To whom do these regulations apply? They apply to the UK and Northern Ireland citizens and their relatives who are living in Spain before the Brexit exit date in brackets Brexit day. And especially cross-border employees, in brackets, citizens. What do citizens need to do before Brexit Day? They need to apply for a special citizen's work and resident permit, but this does not affect their eligibility to apply for other kinds of work and residence permits in accordance with Spanish immigration regulations. So I hope that's good news, because I don't know what it means. I don't live in Spain. When should citizens apply for this authorisation? At the latest, 21 months are after Brexit Day. That must have been a typo then. Oh, because I thought it didn't make sense. Because before, it said before the exit date. So that must have been a typo that they, um, that they put in. Um, anyway, it's 21 months after Brexit Day. Now that makes more sense. Whew. OK, at the very latest, 21 months after Brexit Day, after that, citizens will no longer be able to apply for this authorisation. So I think, guess you've got long enough, nearly two years. So, but it's, I guess it's better to get it done sooner rather than later. What is the legal situation for citizens between the day they apply for authorisation and the day it is granted? They will keep their current status in Spain according to their existing resident work permit. The new authorisation will take the place of the previous one. 
What is the first step citizens must take? It depends on whether or not the citizen has a temporary certificate evidencing that he or she is reg registered in Spain as a foreign EU citizen. Citizens with temporary certificate evidencing registration as foreign EU citizens. Citizens without certificate evidence re evidencing registration as foreign EU citizens. Hmm. It depends on whether or not the citizen has a temporary certificate evidencing that he or she is registered in Spain as a foreign EU citizen, colon. Citizens with temporary certificate evidencing registration as foreign EU citizens or citizens without certificate evidencing registration as foreign EU citizens. I hope that makes sense to British nationals in Spain because... I'm just relaying information I found and I'm going to put the link in the description. Um, the citizen must attend a police station in person to request a foreign EU ID card. The following documents must be filed. Application form, requesting the foreign EU ID card, full copy of passport, Official documents evidencing the payment of taxes and a photograph. I hope that document evidencing the payment of taxes is not going to be a problem for anyone. Because it's times like these, things that you've been letting sweep under the carpet come to bite you on the bum. So let's hope that you've all been playing by the rules. The ID card granted will state that it is a citizen's temporary work and residence authorisation. The card is valid for a period of five years, but may be extended after the expiration of five years. Long-term resident permit, in brackets. However, if the citizen already has a certificate dated more than five years ago, he or she can apply for the long-term ID card. So you don't have to wait another five years. The citizen must request a temporary work and residence authorization at his or her local immigration office. The application must be filled within 21 months of Brexit Day and the certificate will be granted within a maximum period of three months. And I bet you their system is not like the Home Office here where they say three months, but they actually mean 12. So hopefully three months is three months. During this period, the citizen will be allowed to live in Spain. The following documents must be filed. Document evidencing that the citizen was living in Spain before Brexit Day and a full copy of the passport. In addition, one, for an employee, documents evidencing that he or she is an employee duly registered with the social security system. Two, for a self-employed citizen, documents evidencing that the citizen is registered with the Spanish authority as self-employed. Three, for a self-sufficient citizen who is living in Spain, medical insurance policy and evidence the citizen has sufficient financial stability to live in Spain. And four, for a student, documents Documents evidencing that he or she is studying Spain, medical insurance and financial evidence. Um, I wonder how much you need to have to show financial stability. Because we know over here it's £18,000, a year you have to be earning. So I don't know what it is in Spain. You're going to have to look that up, peeps. Once a citizen receives the certificate, he or she can apply within one month for a citizen's temporary work and resident authorization card. What will citizens' relatives have to do? Hmm, where's that gone then? Oh, right in front of me. If they do not have a relative ID card, they will have to follow the procedure described above. They would also have to evidence that they are a relative of the citizen and that they live with him or her. The card is valid for the same period as the citizen's ID card. Seven. What is the situation for cross-border employees? 
They will have to apply for special work permit as a cross-border citizen at the latest 21 months after Brexit Day. The permit must be filled with the local immigration authorities. The work permit is for one year, but it may be extended for an additional one year periods, for additional one year periods, provided that the citizen can evidence his or her situation. In the case of a temporary employment contract or service contracts, the authorization will be limited to the length of the temporary contract. The documents to be filed will be full copy of passport as well as documents evidencing that the citizen is a cross-border employee or a cross-border self-employed citizen. What is the situation if the citizen has already filed the documents to be registered as a foreign EU citizen or has requested a foreign EU ID card? If the authorisation is filed before Brexit Day, the procedure will continue in accordance with the application. However, if the authorisation is granted after Brexit Day, the Spanish administration will adapt the authorisation process to that stated above. As countdown to exit day continues, um, this is where I got it from. So if you are interested in any of this, please contact Jessica Pattinson, Head of Immigration UK at jessica.pattinson at dentons.com. Dentons is a solicitor in Spain. I'm not endorsing them. I'm not acknowledging them. I'm not recommending them. I don't know anything about them, but I did get that article from them so therefore you know they they require to be acknowledged for it and have their name attached to this um vlog um and that's if if you require any additional support on immigration matters i hope you found that useful i mean the thing is is that when we think about brexit it affects so many different things it's not just about well, it is about immigration, but it's also about human rights and it's also about um, the NHS and it's also about so many different things. And the hard, you know, whether or not we're going to have a hard border in Ireland, whether or not Scotland is going to stay with England, whether or not Ireland and Scotland are going to get to stay together and England is going to be a lone soul. We don't know what's going on. We have no idea what this means. At the moment, we're seeing Sterling plummet, but I think it plummeted for a little while when um, Theresa May took office. So we don't know what's going to go on and we don't know who to believe. And so, but anyway, for those of you British nationals, expatriates, they call you, living in Spain and who are a bit feeling a bit unsteady about what's going to happen after Brexit, I hope this video helps. And if it does, please put a comment in the boxes below and like and share. Bye-bye.